Well, good morning, people. It's early. We're tired. We're trying to wake up. It's gonna be an epic bite, though. I can feel it. Got tidal movement. And uh, got a good spot here, so I see bait at the launch. Good sign. Let's go harass Teresa. What are you doing there, hot shot? I'm rigging. It's early. I know. Stop it. Shoot, I just realized I left all my tackle boxes in the Elemonte. Good, lucky for me, there's a little trail here going to the element. Thank goodness uh, the car was parked close to the bank here. Time's a waste, man. Let's go see what's up at our new spot. Go for the stop. Oh, I got to show them, people. Trolling the Berkeley. I think it's called a cutter stick bait. That's something. Heavy. Yeah, he's heavy, honey. It's a redfish. Think so. Where he's bouncing, yeah. He's just got a lot. Got him on my Abu Garcia inshore series. Some shoulders to him. Yeah, he's heavy, honey. He's just got a lot of weight. Whack that stick bait. Oh, I don't know. It looks like a gap top. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Ghostbusters cat. You have been slimed when you catch these. Unexpected. Now I gotta get this Berkeley out of him with all these hooks. Of course all three hooks are in it. Cut me, stab me. It's just gonna hurt like hell. Oh, it's starting to hurt bad. Stab me right in the hand, people. It's gonna hurt all day. You gotta be careful around these cats. Any kind of cat. Insult to injury now. Oh man, that hurts like a mofo. All right, let's push on. Oh man, I just had a huge, huge blow up. Very, freak, very weird looking. I don't know what it was. Oh, the whole fish, it looked gray. This could have been a trout.
I like that Yozuri. Ooh, you want him? Explosion on top. Oh, I lost him. I think it was a bluefish. The way he blew up. Oh, there he goes again. Oh. <laughs> I think that's a trout. <clears throat> They're tearing up the top water over here. Put a spook junior on there, a little smaller. Maybe they can grab hold of it a little better. Oh, big top water explosion, people. This is a nice fish. Wow. On the rocks, no on the rocks. Where is he going? Where is he going? Woo! <laughs> awesome! Oh, big trout, big trout, big trout. Back up. Got a nice trout. Ooh, this is a spot I've been looking for. Look how pretty that is. There we go. <laughs> how big a blow up trout I forgot how big a blow up trout do <sighs> guys 19 inches perfect eating size so I think I'm gonna keep it no measure him. yeah solid 19 Some days it'll be jacks, some days it'll be trout, some days it'll be redfish. I wouldn't doubt tarpon or sharks. Time to get up. No, stick bait, trolling. It was it was grinding the sand and got something's attention. Second thing I've caught on that sucker this morning. Now I'm just throwing my Miradine in front of me. And uh, it was kind of shallow. And this Berkeley cutter stick bait was kind of grinding the bottom. This is a bass lure, y'all. This is a freshwater bass lure. I just keep it as clean as I can. And this time it's a hard head. <laughs> it catches fish though. You ain't get me, you dirty Alright, here's been the catfish slayer, cutter 110, freshwater jerk bait. I like these because they float and then when you're going slow they just they dive down just a little bit. And then when you stop and you're throwing baits in front, they float back up. So when, I, when I'm stationary throwing lures in front, it, it's not getting down in the grass. As soon as I take off, it does a slow wobble. And Teresa's doing the same thing with the Yozuri with a small lip. It floats 
and when she moves it wobbles real slow as she's throwing baits in front. It's great to have a bait out behind behind you while you're casting lures in front. Why not? There's a lot of fish doing that. I just put it one full cast behind me, lock it, put it in the old Zuka tube, and uh, call her done. Let me see what else is up here. Alright folks, we got a little beach up here, a little island, so we're going to take a break. Follow the fish master up to the beach there, take a little break. Breakfast, yard egg, mango. Teresa just said when the 15 on that bridge is underwater, it's high tide. What an observation. That's why I married that girl. Let's go take the first dip of the new season. <laughs> this doesn't hurt. Hope this isn't painful. Is it gonna be painful? Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see y'all next time right here on 30 Miles Out. What?